the special cup is my number one spot in the list. You know why? It's because of those pokies returning and more place and where you can fall in love or drive me into not rub sand. You still have the race of a couple of twists and turns with a couple of runs like things and pokies. Then you cross the wooden bridge just above the lake. Then you get a couple more twists and turns. Tell a couple of those blocks you saw earlier with the gun. Do some tricks until you enter the ruins. The, the music gets really... The music's different. Probably the trick to get to, across the sand. Failing to do so will cause you to drive in the dark. Then, you just have a couple more twists and turns in the ruins and watch out for more pokies and sand. Then you finally encounter some swoopers and get out of the goal. After exiting the ruins, you can use the stroke of which 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 you to rise Mushrooms were quiet. Just go over there on the sand and reach the goal. Mouse Castle in the Special Cup is number 10 because it's really cool. The same entrance is the same from the Double Dash version, but a lot of things are a lot different than the past games. We have the same obstacles fireballs and waps, even a giant Bowser statue. You'll be getting across by going outside the castle onto a bridge that will lead you right inside the castle. But try to try the music changes. Or there's this wobbling floor where you can also perform tricks. Just turn, there's a couple of turns with two arms on the way. Just make sure you don't get squashed by them. Don't run into them. Then you came into the, then you come into the dangerous section that happened. A dry mega that statue spinning fireballs and you have to go to the sand using a mushroom or uh, performing tricks. Two alternate routes have fireballs and have lamps, but still lead to the same way. Just watch out for rapper geysers in this portion of this course. Then you come in to an area with more twats. Then you finally come outside the castle. With rotating fireballs, after performing the trick on those, you're outside the castle. Now, just avoid those rapper geysers outside. You can also perform tricks in the outer lanes, and you have completed the map. Yoshi follows Mario Kart games. Second course in the show cup, we can enjoy the experience of waterfalls. You just begin the race with a simple couple of turns onto the first bridge, then you move them. Just watch out if you touch the water, you'll fall down immediately. Then you cross a second bridge, then you go to speed boost. Just, just don't rock fall in the water. After the second boost, you can also perform a trick, then go to the third one, then go to the fourth one and the fifth one. Then, after crossing the finish line, you can enjoy the experience and do more laps. I can't believe this was the second course of Mushroom Cup on Mario Kart DS. Ooh, you got for scale. Ghost Valley 2 on Super Mario Kart in the Show Cup makes a return. But this time, you better watch out. It's here. You start the race from a couple of turns. Just if you touch a part of the wall, you it'll break and you'll fall down. Soccer can be used for performing the trick off the ramp instead of using a feather. The balls are act as obstacles, but they do not hurt you. Get a couple more twists and turns. But right near the finish line, there's a speed boost, and this ramp where you can perform a trick. Enjoy the haunted ghost fairy and two more laps. I can't believe it was so cool to have Halloween ghosts. It's coming soon. The nice way the melody of Mushroom Witch. The time has come again with the Trinity Mushroom You begin the quest with a couple of twists and turns like Then you land on a bridge where you go right, speed boost, and you can drop on the red trampoline mushroom. Then you have just have to go left, have two buttons. First one has two trampoline mushrooms. One's a green one you can do. And the other one has a red of speed boost. Then you go into a cave one. Fill with trampoline mushrooms. Have a couple of ones. This way has a couple of trampoline mushrooms. And the other ways. Well, there is a lot of trampoline mushrooms you can expect. Then you have to avoid some Goombas. 
turn to the left a couple times to reach the goal. Join the trampoline mushrooms and two more laps. There's a shortcut at the beginning of the course using the mushroom. You should bounce the mushroom and the trampoline mushroom into the bridge. And yeah, that would be easy to get your time. Maybe a fast one. I also knew that mushroom gorge will also make a appearance in more Quartz 7. There will be blue trampoline mushrooms to fuel your air glider and fly around the course. But instead of regular Goombas at the end, they are grand Goombas at the end. Goomba! DK Jungle Parkway in the Reef Cup has what an amazing appearance. In the special cut the first track on Mario Kart 64, there's a whole lot of stuff that makes a number six. You begin the race after crossing the first line with some tourists at um, a cruise ship, then you have to go to a loop around, like you're seeing here. Then you go to this platform that will shoot you all the way to the other half. And you'll have to turn, and you'll have to get a couple more twists and turns. Uh, let me let me fast forward this part. So I don't have to fast forward this part. So yeah, after a couple of more twists and turns in this crazy Donkey Kong course, you get you go across the bridge. Well, yeah, a wooden bridge to be exact. But there is a couple of changes. The water is orange and this and sunset. You could be not so good that if you don't have a mushroom, you're going to have to take the wrong route. But if you do have a mushroom, you could take a shortcut like this to push all the way to the finish line fast. Enjoy the jungle tour and two more laps. There's a tournament where you have to win the race against Donkey Kong and Daddy Kong who are throwing infinity, infinity bananas. Oh, this is not any like spooky. Bowser's Castle from the Lightning Cup. Final track makes an appearance. The final track in the Star Cup of Mario Kart 64, it's still cool. You just begin the race after crossing the start line and onto a bridge that leads you to the interior. A bounce that you spin things. Don't go there or behind. If you go to there, Bowser's Wrath will begin to play. Then you go into a room with dwarfs and a Green twop in the cage, then you go to the right. Two twomps are just to hit you and they slam down the ground and have to avoid them. Then comes two twomps, then you go to the right. And you go to the right. And then you have to dodge some more twomps and bounce statues. Then you go on across another bridge, then right. Then you go to a shadowing staircase. Then if you have a mushroom, you go boost around the grass. Not take the other way. Then go to the right. And then you'll see Raffle Guys is coming out the third bridge you swell. Then you see Loop, like DK Jungle Park, where you just go around it until you reach a Spoon Boost Trick Ramp. You can perform a trick on these as long as you don't fall on the lava. There's another one where you have to try to not go in front. Enjoy the castle and two more laps. I have a question. I hate to say this, but starting on the second map. I'll let you guess while this is playing. Starting in the second map, after coming to loop, one of two lava geysers will spell out near the trunk lifts. Speed boost track maps. You have to be careful. Hitting them will so you to fall in the lava. Crashing Lava Wops, it's Toad Factory in the Mushroom Cup is number 4. Getting close to number 1, the Painted Dale. You'll discover number 1, please. You'll just have to wait to find out. You begin the race by entering inside Toad's Factory. A lot of, well, videos go backward, you know, squish board. Crushers will, crusher things will go up to squish you. You go across the bridge and go on the arrows and right to left and right to left. You have crates and iron boxes. And then you just have to take a couple of turns right and then you enter this room. And then you have to follow the sign on the arrows and then you enter this point. The reason changes in this track around Treasure Room into Bowser's Castle. Then you exit the factory and go to Bumps. 
Then you take another turn to the right and go some speeds too. Then you reach the goal and enter a lap. I'll also to mention the arrows change every 45 seconds. Just to let you know, so be careful when going on one of them. Again, another castle! Well, our castle treating the GBA version? You all just have to survive a longer course. More obstacles. Even the camera flying back and forth across the finish line. You just begin the race with a couple with a left twist turn to find two twops. After that, you move to the right. Sometimes you squish when you go near the kill then more twists and twists, finally causing a lap of it with two more twists. Then you can reach these jump wraps, which you can use for four tricks. Last time they were used for hopping, you jump, you probably missed the lap hop. Then add these two more dorms over the And watch out for mud, then three more dorms. Check boost to perform the trick. Then, upon some lap breaks, a poo boost, jump it up and down. So, you don't want to stay from these very hot hands. Then you just have to turn left to go into an area with two more twamps on the crate with the camera going back and forth near the finish line. So check it. And two more laps. <sighs> Only two more courses. Let's see what number two will be. DK Mountain and Double Dash in the Lightning Cup. It's number two. Will people if you want this track to be number one? It is not number one! So... <laughs> take that! You just begin the race with twist and turns. You can use a shortcut into the mud if you have a mushroom. Then you just tap a full turn to the right until you reach your cannon. I stop this. Okay, after that launch up to the cannon, you get out of box from these. These are ramps where you can perform tricks. 150 seat to touch seat and the third ramp to perform a trick. Then when you can reach this area, you better watch out for all the small ones you can trick easily, but the big ones they can call me just. Yeah. Just be on the lookout. You can also cross a gap. You can also use that as a shortcut, but it takes careful timing, so I would recommend this for expert players. And then you reach a wibbly wobbly bridge. If you fall back to your safe, just enjoy the jungle in two months. You already saw the shortcut, so yeah. Let's see what the number one track is in Top 11 History. The number one track is Maple Treeway. Wow, favorite track, I just can't believe it. Boom! Start with a turn left and a turn right. If you use your shortcut, you have to boost. Then you go. As I was saying, you go to a left hand and you pass to this one. Just take a quick turn right. Pushing your leaves will bring out mushrooms or bananas. In a, in a tournament that took place on this track with coins, then you just have to watch out for two big ones on the You can quickly go past them, or you just have to not. So go around them. Then you have two speakers. Then you just go over there. Then you can perform a trick on this one. Then bust through some more loops. And stuff. Then you cause an wooden bridge. And you can perform a trick on this. This trap will appear on Mario Kart 10. There's a glider map over here that replaces this point where you have to glide over there. Then go on. And you don't want to take the longer route to reach the goal. Enjoy the trees and two more maps. I hate to say this, but thanks for watching my top 11.